the H1B guy here. I wanted to get up a post on the announcement that came down yesterday. So on Tuesday, July 14th, just eight days after issuing an F1 visa, F1 OPT guidance to ICE, President Trump has rescinded the announcement that Student Exchange and Visa Program, SVEP, foreign students in the U.S., whose classes are taught completely online, will have to transfer to another school with face-to-face -face instruction or leave the country was revoked. This change in policy appears to be the administration's response to the lawsuit filed last week by Harvard, MIT, and 17 other states that called the policy senseless and cruel. Let's take a quick look at an estimate of the number of individuals who've been in the U.S. from a news release that was posted by ICE on January 28th of 2020, where SVEP released their 2018 report on non-immigrant students in the U.S. The report notes that 1.5 million active records for F1 and N1 M1 non-immigrant students in SEVIS during calendar year 2018. Asia remained the top continent with China, 478,732, India, 251,290, and the Republic of Korea, South Korea, 88,867 sent the largest number of non-immigrant students in both calendar year 2017 and 2018. Of these countries, only the number of students from India increased from 2017 to 2018 by a plus of 4,157. The number of students from China was down 147, and the number of students from the Republic of South uh, from the Republic of Korea, South Korea, was down 6,403, which just decreased over the same time period from 2017 to 2018. In 2018, 145,564 non-immigrant students received an Employment Authorization Document, EAD, and were employed in pre- and post-completion op Optional Practical Training, OPT. This marks a 5% decrease from 2017. Nearly 700,000 non-immigrant students received an EAD and were employed in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, STEM, OPT, in 2018, compared to 64,481 in calendar year of 2017, more than an 8% increase. There were 151,525 non-immigrant students that received an EAD and were employed in curricular practical training, CPT, in 2018, compared to 132,380 in 2017, more than a 14% increase. So what does all this mean? Well, as you can see, there's well over a million international students currently in the U.S., for now, the ability to enroll and attend online classes for F1 and M1 students has been resolved, but at what cost? We've continued to see heavier scrutiny on H1B visas and the continuation of the current travel ban due to the global pandemic can only diminish the number of international students increase interested excuse me, in pursuing advanced education in the U.S. This also raises the question on whether we will see USCIS change their stance on remote work for H-1B workers in the U.S. Any H-1B worker that finds themselves working from home without a certified LCA for their current location may be considered noncompliant. As we've been discussing on the H-1Bguy.com, there are thousands of H-1B workers currently in this very situation. What do you think about the administration's pivot on their previous ruling of F1s? As always, please like and subscribe to the H1B Guy to get more of this content produced. The H1B Guy, your global source for all things H1B.